In this video, we're going to take a look at multiplying and dividing rational expressions. As we do, we will remember how we multiply and divide regular fractions, and then apply those same patterns to the rational expressions. When multiplying a fraction, such as 15 49ths times 14 over 45, we would first start by reducing. But I want to take a closer look at what it means when we reduce. When we see 15 and 45, we say they have a common factor of 5 because 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 times 9 is 45. In fact, you might even see another common factor now of 3, because the 9 could be even rewritten as 3 times 3. Similarly, you would tell me that the 49 and 14 can be reduced, because they're both divisible by 7 because 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 times 7 is 49. Notice when we have a factor in the numerator and denominator, it can divide out completely the 5's, the 3's, and the 7's. This leaves a 2 in the numerator, and 7 times 3, which is 14 in the denominator. Oops, 7 times 3 is 21 in the denominator, sorry. We can follow the same pattern as we reduce rational expressions by multiplying, or we multiply rational expressions with reducing as well. x squared minus 9 over x squared plus x minus 20 times x squared minus 8x plus 16 over 3x plus 9. Before we multiply, we like to reduce. However, we can only reduce if it's factored first, and so we will need to factor each of these polynomials. The numerator is a difference of squares, factored into the sum and difference of the square roots, x plus 3, x minus 3. The denominator, using the AC method, multiplying to negative 20 and adding to 1, would be 4 and 5, with the 4 being negative, giving us x minus 4 times x plus 5, because we have a 1 in front of the x squared. The second numerator, also using the AC method, 16 and negative 8. The numbers would be negative 4 and negative 4. They match, so it's x minus 4 squared. And in the denominator, the GCF is 3, leaving us behind with x plus 3. I'm moving quickly through the multipli or through the factoring part, because by this point, we should be very comfortable factoring. Now we see a common factor of x plus 3 in the numerator and denominator. Similarly, an x minus 4 can divide out 1 of the x minus 4's. What's left then is x minus 3 times x minus 4 over 3 times x plus 5 for our final solution. Let's try a problem that's also a division problem. Division is really the same as multiplication, with the extra step that we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So we're actually doing x squared minus x minus 12 over x squared minus 2x minus 8 times x squared plus x minus 2 over 5x squared plus 15x. In order to simplify, everything must be factored. In the numerator of the first one, we're multiplying to negative 12, adding to negative 1. That's negative 4 and 3, giving us x minus 4 times x plus 3 over... In the denominator, we're multiplying to negative 8, adding to negative 2. That's negative 4 and positive 2, so we have x minus 4 times x plus 2 times... In the numerator, we're multiplying to negative 2, adding to negative 1. There's lots of factoring with rational expressions. 2 and negative 1, so it's x plus 2, x minus 1, over... In the denominator, there's a GCF of 5x, leaving us behind x plus 3. Now we can go through and divide out our common factors of x minus 4, x plus 2, and x plus 3 and we get our final answer of x minus 1 over 5x by factoring first, then reducing.